Well, you know, last week um, on the channel, we had that video of you, of your um, portable, or your, um, not portable kit, uh, your um, spare parts kit. Yeah. And Alan asked, you know, what does what does my spare parts kit look like? So, what, what, what is in your box? Mike? What is in my box? I <laughs> this is what I use. I've had this for I don't know how many years. It's a little um, tackle box. Yeah, it's a soft sided tackle box. Um, okay. Plano. I like that. I like that. Yep. Wow, so, Plano. Nothing but the best part. It was on sale at Fleet Farm. <laughs> hey guys, side notes. Just go wander around Fleet Farm for ham radio ideas. There's tons of stuff. One time I went to a Fleet Farm and they had um, a big spool of electric fence wire. Yep. A quarter mile of it for like 12 bucks. <laughs> Sold a ton of wire right there, guys. <laughs> I got a roll of that. So, yeah, I got. Um... On this, uh, you know, it's got these nice removable um, containers. So we've got stuff like grommets, fuses. Uh, oh, I got a, I got a bunch of the Molex connectors in here. I must have picked up a ton of them at a ham fest and stuck them. Oh, Molex connectors, yeah, those are worth their yeah. weight in gold. Have you got Have you got the little pin? You got the little tool for them? Yeah, yeah those are great. Those yeah, are actually, so personally. The Molex ones, I think, are better than power poles, but man, that could be blasphemy right there. Well, it's <laughs> you might start a holy war there. So. I guess. What does everyone do when they get a radio? Cut off the Molex, put power poles on there, right? I make adapt. That's you know why I got these these um, connectors is I just make adapters and leave the Molex in place. Uh -huh. Nice. This, one, this one's mostly empty. Um. But I got a few spare parts in here. Like it looks like I got some DB9s and some um, uh, eighth micro connectors. This is an interesting thing. Um, I got key springs. <laughs> I was re I was refurbing a J38 key, and it needed a new spring. Oh. So I ordered. I don't. You can't really see it. I ordered like a half a dozen of these because it was the For same price. Yeah. Yeah. You bought it so, well. Yeah. So. I think I got a J38. Maybe I maybe I'll bum a few of those from you. If you need a spring. Yeah. It's. Next month, everyone's getting a J38 spring. <laughs> <laughs> those are from Viking, actually. So. I don't know if they're. I think they're still in business. So things, you know, things just sort of kind of collect in here. And then the other ones, we got goodies like, oh, ring terminals, um, yeah, more string grab. Really you can't. No, oh, we got ring terminals really up like the wazoo. the non-insulated ones and a little shrink wrap. That's kind of my personal, that's my jam right there. I, I, I can really make a nice termination. I should probably go that route um, instead of and adapters we got barrel connectors we oh, got yeah. peels uh reducers so i i have two classifications of the rf connectors and adapters i got like the cheap ones that i keep in that box right mm -hmm. like the diamond dozen ones and then the good ones the high quality ones i keep on the workbench with all the rf test gear yeah oh, yeah there's a difference there really is a difference between like, an amphenol uh, uh brand RF connector and the yep. one you get off Amazon. There is a difference between SMAs you get off Amazon and the stuff you buy from Pasternak. There really oh, is yeah. a difference. And some of the some of the stuff on Amazon is great for just going out in the field and operating. Yeah. But if I'm working on something on the bench, I, I gotta have the good stuff because you're just gonna have problems <laughs> with it on, on a bench situation. Um, it, it, it's one of those things where it's like you don't know what it is, but you're getting a weird measurement or something yep you know and that's what it comes down to but but yeah. when you're just out in the field they work fine of course of course yeah so, so and then I've, I've got this tub that's just got all the other odds and ends that i don't put into the other bags so oh uh, spring clips alligator clips um adapt more adapters um, so, so, some of the medium-sized alligator clips for batteries yeah. for battery yeah. posts 
keep a set of them in there and then something to kind of crimp on a wire in case you in case you are in one of those SHTF situations where That's you right. just gotta get something on the air real quick. Have Extra fuses. Yeah, I got some I got tons of weird stuff in here. Um switches old project box. Um oh, oh, you know when I when I do a project, you know, and I say I rummage through my junk, my parts bin. You know, this is the kind of stuff that um, my entire basement is a junk bin. <laughs> I mean, you've been down here once or twice. You kind of know the situation. Phono connectors, so it's uh, oh. there's switch there's switches in here. There's power outlets, and I got more. I got more stuff behind me. I got another. There's another container that's that's um, those little slido drawer things that are full of all of the resistors and. Um, capacitors and 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 whatnots uh diodes and and that kind of that kind of stuff so it's um but the but the ta soft-sided tackle box that's that's real handy because you can throw that in the car for field day and um yep you gotta yeah, it's it's, definitely it's, it, it whether it's uh bench bound or it's mobile just having a supply of that little thing is makes stuff it makes things a lot easier mm -hmm. in, in this yep. um, in this hobby so definitely don't knock it yeah, yeah. Coy connectors very widely. I I like those Amphenol connectors uh, yeah. because they don't have that really weird chrome on them that that never takes solder. Yeah. So I a... I've used those cheap ones off off Amazon and eBay, and then I stopped using them. And I just call you when I need them. Uh, <laughs> so, and it's it's true. Michael does use the Amphenol ones on the J poles. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> they do solder better, um, even though they're they're chassis mount ones, but um, they take the heat a lot better. They got I a heat resistant got, dielectric. Yeah, some yeah. plastic in there. As soon as you hit, you hit them with the uh, iron, they just melt and then they're shot. Yep. yep. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.